Hi guys, welcome to Linux YouTube channel. My name is Ramishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to set up and host a private docker registry. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the last session, we have to understand few points which is what is private docker registry and its use cases. So you can see in my screen, this is docker doc documentation and here is the important point is mentioned what is docker registry, what it is, why is use it and alternatives and basic requirements and the command. right? So, uh, the Docker Hub private is account is a paid, you know very well, and it's an expensive option for storing multiple images in the cloud, while the private Docker registry setup is free. So all of the command to access the images from a private registry are simple and almost identical to those in the Docker Hub. So uh, using a private registry, we can balance the load, customize the authentication and the logging and make many more configuration changes, right? So suppose you are working on a project and you have your own Docker images and you want to host those Docker images locally in the office network, then you need to host your own Docker registry. Due to security reason, you may not use public Docker repository like Docker Hub to the store images for your organization. So in that case, we will be having a node that will be separate machine and will be install uh, Docker registry there. Then we can do push and pull the images, right? So let's do the lab session and we'll see how it is useful for us, right? So let's talk about the prerequisites for this demo. We need to running uh, Linux based distribution and Docker should be installed on your system, right? So for the demonstration purpose, I'm using rel 9 virtual machine. Let me go with my VMware workstation. Here you can see that I have one VM machine named Docker server and second one is the rel 9, right? So, okay, let me log in here. Let it be reboot. Okay, not a big deal. Go back on this machine. Okay, so um, here you can see uh, it's a two Linux virtual machine. I have two Linux VM where I have already installed the Docker command line tool. So if you don't know how to install the Docker in Linux, you can go with my previous video from the Docker playlist where I have uploaded the video how to install Docker in Rel Linux, right? As you can see, this Linux terminal, and uh, let me show you the OS release version of this machine and the Docker version also. So let me clear the screen and the command, first command is hostname CTL. So currently you can see that the hostname of DevOps server and this is rel 9.1 version, right? And uh, let me check the IP address of this machine, hostname hyphen I, current IP is 192.168.111.129. And let me check the Docker, Docker hyphen hyphen version. See, Docker is successfully installed on this machine, right? And let it be checked the internet connectivity also from this machine. So, 8.8.8.8. .8 yep. Uh, you can see that I'm able to get the response from the public network, right? Now, I'm press control C. I'm stopping that one. Now, let me log into the second virtual machine. So, I'm here. Okay, let it be load. Okay, it's coming up. Okay, just wait for a couple of minutes. Yeah, so I'm logging with root, need the password. Yes, okay, go to the activity. Yeah, terminal is there. Say host name CTL. So it's server1.example.com and this is rel 9.0, right? And if I talk about the IP address of this machine, let me check the IP. IP is 192.160.1, okay? And uh, let me check the Docker version. Okay, and let me check the internet connectivity also. Ping gmail.com, ping 8.8.8.8. .8 so no network is unreachable, right? So network unreachable, that means this is my private network. I'm not be able to access the internet connectivity, but I'm able to access my Docker server, right? Let me check 168.111. Uh, the range is changed, something different. Let me uh, set the same network range, first of all. So let me change the IP address is 130 is there, okay. 
go back let it be activate back quit let me check the IP yep ping 192.168.111.129 yes switchability is there I can communicate with my DAO server as well as let me check the internet connectivity yep it network is unreachable perfect so this is my private machine and there's no internet connectivity right so I'm back on my the first machine and check the current condition of docker image and container uh, from here using the this command docker images and docker ps minus hyphen a so now you can see that currently I don't have any container images and container uh, available on this box right so first of all we need to set up a private registry so in the docker we can set up a registry by running a container of a registry image to run a private registry we have to pull the registry image store on the public docker hub so we can go with the following command let me go with my notepad and I have a command let me copy from here for time saving purpose let me copy okay go back here in the terminal and let it be set for you first okay so here's the command let me comment out so what we need to run the command we need to run docker run hyphen d hyphen p and then the port and the restart always name demo hyphen v uh, root slash data while live registry industry column two so here i'm launching a new container named demo right this is the container name what i'm going to launch here this is the demo new container in deattach mode with restart always this line ensure that you start your docker registry uh, as service as soon as you boots up the system right and hyphen v is used for the mount the docker host volume with the container volume inside the container on var lib registry right and uh, registry hyphen 2 this is your call column 2 this is the image of docker hub registry with the version 2 you can go with any version or latest or latest one also and finally determine the ports 5 0 colon 5 0 um, this means that the doc, uh, this means that interest the docker interest uh, the docker that the host and the running containers communicate over the defined ports number right but before going to execute that command let me make a data directory on the docker host also so let me go with the root and data directory right. so now this is ready so this is the host volume on the docker host and this is the volume inside the docker container right so now i am going to run this command let it be in command first and press enter so it will be searched locally first unable to find image registry column 2 and now then it will start from pulling the image from the docker hub right so it started it will take a little bit of time just complete it first and then once it's successfully complete we will verify the registry image using docker image command one more time right yep it's there docker images Yep, registry uh, repo repository registry with attack two, right? And you can see uh, my Docker container also Docker PS. Yep, you can see that registry two 19 second I was created of 16 second local port mapping is there, and the container name is demo, right? Everything is there. Okay. So now move to the next step which is push an image to the private registry to push an image to the private registry let's first pull the latest nginx image or any image from the public docker registry so i will run the simple command docker pull in my case i'm going with the nginx right i press the enter it will go with the latest tag and it will pull that image so you can go with anyone either CentOS, ubuntu or whatever you required on your environment right so for the demonstration purpose i'm going with the nginx image okay so uh, we will first pull that nginx image from the public docker registry and uh, once it's successfully uh, pulled we will tag this nginx image and later on we will push it to the private docker registry right so just uh, let it be complete first okay done so now go back docker images you can see that nginx is there with the latest tag right so we will tag this nginx image and then we will push it so let's tag it first so the command for the tag the image is this one docker image tag let me copy 
run one more time so here it is docker image tag nginx latest the ip address of my local machine that is 192.168.1.29 and the call in 5000 and give the custom name that is custom hyphen nginx it could be anything right so here we can here i'm going to press enter and let's see what happened so if i go with docker images you will see that oh look at the image id 6efc 6efc right so here you can see that the image id has two different repository right the tag in docker are similar to the symbolic links to remove an image we must either delete the image id or the explicitly delete both the tags now move to the next part which is push the image to the docker private registry so by default docker behavior is that it always look for the secure registry because we are make our own private repository with without any secure uh, secure certificates or any ssl certification so mm, we need to update this thing to the docker service file also otherwise we are not be able to push and pull from our custom repository right so for that one what i need to do i need to modify the docker dot service file and add this server's ip and the local port that is 5000 right so i need to open a file etc under the uh, not etc that could be in usr lib under the lib we have system d under system and here we have docker dot service so docker dot service okay here it is now you can go to the line number 13 comment out it first and then copy and paste and put up the ip address of your machine right so what i will do here I will just write out this thing from here. Yeah, here it is. So let me copy and paste. Okay. So I just copy and paste and modify the entry. Insecure registry 192.168.111.129. The IP address of this machine and the 5000 port, right? So we added the first virtual machine IP address with the port 5000 in the insecure registry property. To apply the above changes, we need to reload the Docker daemon and then we have to restart the services so system ctl daemon reload first and then what we need to do system restart docker services and before moving to nest we need to verify that our container is working or not it's an up and running condition should be up and running condition yep it is enough right so now we are ready to push our image on the custom repository right so the command to push is that docker push the simple command right so here we have our image we will go with that image uh, let me see one more time docker images currently image is that i'll go to push that image whatever i have tagged so uh, copy the entire repository right press enter yep you can see that successfully pushed right so with the above command we have successfully put the custom nginx image to a private repository which is locally set up on the port 5000 similarly we can also mul uh, also store multiple images in the private repository right so mm, now move to the final part which is view this available image from my private virtual machine and and then finally pull that image right and remember that private vm is not uh, is not in the public network right so here i am i am back on my this vm let me log in here first okay so currently you can see that network is unreachable i'm not be able to access the public internet connectivity okay let me check the docker images first currently i don't have any docker image right so uh what we need to do first uh check our custom docker registry using the curl command or we can also go with the web browser with the following url right so URL of that case is curl, I'll go with the curl, HTTP, the IP address of my Docker server at the port hyphen V2 underscore catalog. Once I press enter, okay, now you can see that custom engine X, right? Here you can see that private repository are available in my network and one image is available for, uh, for, uh, for us, which is known as custom engine X, right? So here I also, I need to update my Docker service file to communicate with the non secure repository. Also, I need to modify the docker.service file and add service IP and the local port, whatever I have just set the same setting on the my docker server, right? So again, one more time, usr lib and go with the system D system docker service, same procedure, right? Comment out, copy and paste or what to say, I can copy from my notepad let it be added here 
copy right click paste save and quit system ctl daemon reload and then system ctl restart docker dot services perfect now let me check the docker images so currently i don't have docker image and let me check with our gain curl command i can see there is a one custom hyphen nginx image is available under my private network right so now we are ready to pull our image from the custom repository so let's pull it for the pull the command is the same you can replace push with the pull right so i can run this command docker pull and the image id right or s3 so once i press enter boom it's working you can see that this command to pull an image from the private registry is similar to the pulling an image from the docker hub right so yep now if i go with the docker images very good so here you can see that i have successfully pulled uh, that docker image from my private own private repository right even you can see that internet is not there right so guys um, this is how we can set up our own private docker repository in our custom network and you can use in the secure environment over the private network right finally guys this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to note some more something else please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye